Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Shaw Prize Foundation, welcome to the Shaw Prize Award Presentation Ceremony 2006. The Shaw Prize is established under the auspices of Sir Raman Shaw. The award consists of three categories, namely the Shaw Prize in Astronomy, the Shaw Prize in Life Science and Medicine, as well as the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences. The results of the Shaw Prize 2006 were announced at the press conference held on 21st of June. There are six Shaw laureates this year. Tonight, they are here to receive the honor. Now it's time to announce the official commencement of the Shaw Prize Award presentation 2006. Would guests please rise to welcome our officiating guest, the Honorable Donald Dung, Chief Executive of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, China, to be accompanied by the founder of the Shaw Prize, Sir Run Run Shaw. Firstly, the three Shaw laureates in astronomy, Professor Saw Permitted, please. <laughs> Professor Adam Rees, please. And Professor Brian Schmidt, please. in Life Science and Medicine. Professor Xiao Tong Wang, please. Lastly, the two short laureates in Mathematical Sciences, Professor David Mumford, please. And also Professor Wu Wenzhen, please. Thank you very much for flying all the way to Hong Kong to attend our presentation ceremony. We would now like to invite the Chairman of the Board of Adjudicators, Professor Yang Chen Ning, to deliver a speech. The Shaw Foundation Council is honored to award three Shaw Prizes for the year 2006. The winners for the Astronomy Prize are Drs. Permuter, Rees, and Schmidt for their discovery that the universe is accel accelerating in its rate of expansion. The Life Science and Medicine Prize will be awarded to Dr. Xiao Dong Wang for his detailed study of the complicated biochemical mechanism for cell depth. This year's Mathematical Sciences Prize goes to Dr. Mumford and Dr. Wu. Both winners started their careers in pure mathematics, but in recent years have made separate major contributions to applied mathematics. Thank you. We now invite the chairman of the Shaw Prize in Astronomy Committee, Professor Frank Xu Xiaosen, to deliver a speech. Mr. Chief Executive, Sir Run Run, Professor Yang, distinguished Shaw laureates, ladies and gentlemen. The Shaw Prize for Astronomy in 2006 is awarded to Saul Perlmutter, Adam Rees, and Brian Schmidt for the discovery of the acceleration of the universe. Saul Perlmutter's group automated such techniques, search techniques for finding supernovae, leading to the routine discovery of many supernovae a relatively high expansional redshift, Z. Meanwhile, a Chilean group of astronomers showed that the variations of light curves of type 1a supernovae, believed to be exploding white dwarf stars, could be renormalized empirically to get results with greatly reduced errors for cosmological applications. In 1994, Brian Schmidt formed a high Z supernova search team to further develop this method. 
using Type 1A supernovae, the Perlmutter and Schmidt teams simultaneously reached a startling conclusion in 1998. Although the universe did begin its expansion with a Big Bang that decelerated with time, the rate of expansion has actually been accelerating in recent epochs. Adam Rees led the effort to use the Hubble Space Telescope to find supernovae at Z larger than unity to eliminate alternative explanations to acceleration. The discovery of a non-vanishing energy density of the vacuum or some more bizarre alternative has profound consequences for science and philosophy. It is an accomplishment that we honor tonight with the 2006 Shaw Prize in Astronomy. We now invite the chairman of the Shaw Prize in Life Science and Medicine Committee, Professor Kenyut Wei, to give us a speech. Uh, Mrs. Chief Executive, Sir Run Run Shaw, honored guest, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the Shaw Prize in Life Medicine and the winner of the Shaw Prize in Life Science Medicine, Professor Zhao Dong Wong. Professor Wong's contribution is his research on how this program cell death is carried out. The surprising discovery he made is that the mitochondria plays an important role. What Professor Wong found was that when a cell is programmed to die, the mitochondria release proteins that trigger cell death. Well, what is important of Professor Wong's discovery? Based on his elucidation of this biochemical pathway, drugs are being developed to influence this process. For example, cancer cells often prevent cell death by overproducing proteins that block cell death, thereby allowing the cancer cell to proliferate. Approaches are being developed to overcome this blockage. Hence, Professor Wong's work has opened a field of research into treatment that may benefit a whole host of devastating human diseases. Thank you. May we now invite the chairman of the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences Committee, Sir Michael Atia, to deliver a speech. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Mathematicians were prominent in the development of the computer from the early 19th century ideas of Charles Babbage to the more fundamental work of Alan Turing and John von Neumann in the middle of the 20th century. But computer science has now developed into a vast enterprise and the close connection with mathematics is in danger of being lost to the detriment of both. David Mumford and Wu Wen-sun are two leading mathematicians who have, in the second part of their careers, re-established that link in two different ways. Mumford, who made outstanding contributions to the classical subject of algebraic geometry, has applied sophisticated mathematical analysis to the subject of computer vision. Wu Wen-sun began as a geometer under the great Xing Chen Turn, the first recipient of the Shaw Prize in Mathematics, but went in the opposite direction to Mumford, showing how to develop effective computer algorithms for the automatic proof of the theorems of geometry. They represent a new role model for mathematicians of the future and are deserved winners of the Shaw Prize. We are much honored to have the Honorable Donald Zhang, the Chief Executive of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, China, to officiate at the presentation ceremony on this momentous occasion. 
We also have the pleasure to invite the founder of the Shaw Prize, Sir Ran Ran Shaw, to accompany Mr. Zhang to present the prizes to the Shaw laureates. Mr. Zhang and Sir Ran Ran, please. First, we will present the Shaw Prize in Astronomy 2006. The first goes to Professor Saw Permeter. Professor Saw Permeter is presently a professor of physics at the University of California in Berkeley. He is also a senior scientist and an astrophysicist at Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory and the leader of the International Supernova Cosmology Project. In 2002, he was elected a member of the National Academy of Sciences of the USA. Professor Hamilton, please. Congratulations, Professor Hamilton. And the second one goes to Professor Adam Rees, also the laureate in astronomy 2006. Professor Adam Rees is an astronomer at the Space Telescope Science Institute and a professor at Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore. Between 1996 and 1999, Professor Rees was a Miller Fellow at the University of California in Berkeley. Professor Rees, please. Congratulations, Professor Rees. And the third one goes to Professor Brian Schmidt, also the laureate in Astronomy 2006. Professor Brian Schmidt is a federal fellow at the Australian National University's Mount Strolong Observatory in Canberra. He received his master's degree in 1992 and PhD in 1993 in astronomy from Harvard University. Professor Schmidt, please. Congratulations, Professor Schmidt. First, we have the Shaw Laureate in Astronomy, Professor Saw Permata, to come forward. It's a great honor to be invited here tonight for the prize. The projects like the one that I've been involved with are pure teamwork with a motivated, sharp group of scientists working together, often round the clock, pitching in on any problem that comes up for, for years on end and, and, and solving them. And I've had a great international collection of colleagues to work with, scientists and postdocs, emeritus faculty and students. And of course, this round the clock, time critical work obviously only happens when we are strongly supported by family and friends wise mentors and teachers. And I've been very lucky to have had a great set of supportive family, friends, teachers, and mentors throughout my life. And in particular, I'm very happy that my parents are here tonight. So thank you again. It is a true honor to receive the Shaw Prize. May we now invite the other Shaw laureate in astronomy, Professor Adam Rees, to come forward. To me, this is what is so exciting about science. I saw this as such a great opportunity to explain to people that science is a very rich and changing story. It's not just a set of facts of uh, multiplication tables that we memorize in school. It's living and it's breathing. And I think that the discovery that we are uh, awarded the Shaw Prize for is like that. Uh, for a long time, there were certain conceptions of how the universe was, that it must be static or that it must be slowing in its expansion and that would halt. And what we discovered is something so remarkable that it will change textbooks. And again, the poor students are gonna have to go back to their lessons and learn them again, but that's okay because I think it explains the right thing about science, that it's a, a changing living field, that it's very exciting, and everybody can be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Rees. We will now invite the third Shaw Laureate in astronomy, Professor Brian Schmidt, to come forward. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is truly one of the greatest moments in my life to be able to come up here and address you tonight in receiving the Shaw Prize. Uh, tonight's award hails our discovery of an accelerating universe, which has been described by some of the previous speakers. And this is an important, but hopefully not a final chapter in our scientific saga that the community has been working on dating back to 1915 when Albert Einstein first published his equations of general relativity. I am lucky enough to have been born into science at a time and a circumstance where I could be one of the few individuals who have made this discovery of a universe which is speeding up over time. This is a discovery which has uncovered the largest component of our universe, something we call dark energy, and uh, this is something we have done for the first time. I would like to uh, thank the, uh, Sir, Run Sir Run Run Shah, uh, the Chief Executive, the Committee of the Shah Prize, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Professor Schmidt. The Shaw Prize in Life Science and Medicine 2006 goes to Professor Xiaotong Wen. Professor Xiao Dong Wen is presently a professor of biochemistry at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center at Dallas and a fellow of Howard Hughes Medical Institute. In 2004, he was selected as a member of the National Academy of Sciences of the USA. Professor Wen, please. We now wish to invite the Shaw Laureate in Life Science and Medicine, Professor Xiao Dong Huang, to deliver his speech. I'd like to first thank Dr. Ren Ren Shaw for shining the spotlight on a scientist who used to loneliness, frustration, confusion, and who studied death for a living. I would also like to devote the rest of my speech to a special lady who is sitting over here. And she's beautiful, as you all can see. <clears throat> she can walk on a tea bar and be a model. She's also smart, having two doctor earned two doctor degrees. She spent the last 19 years with me and always put my career demand as her top, top priority. And in the meantime, getting her two degrees and raising our two sons, who also present here tonight. And thank you, thank you all. Thank you, Professor Wang. <laughs> Lastly, the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences 2006. The first goes to Professor David Mumford, Professor David Mumford is currently a professor in the Division of Applied Mathematics at Brown University. Professor Mumford was chairman of the Mathematics Department at Harvard from 1981 to 1984, and he is a member of the National Academy of Sciences of the USA. Professor Mumford, please. Congratulations, Professor Manfred. The second half of the Shaw Prize in Mathematical Sciences 2006 goes to Professor Wu Wenjin. Professor Wu Wenjin is presently the honorary director and researcher of the Institute of Systems Sciences, Academy of Mathematics and Systems Sciences at the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Beijing. Professor Wu, please. Congratulations, Professor Wu. We now like to invite the Shaw Laureate in Mathematical Sciences, Professor David Mumford, to deliver his acceptance speech. I've been lucky to have a tremendous team of collaborators and students who have helped develop these ideas. And in addition, I've been extremely lucky in having a wonderful family 
which has supported me, <coughs> my children, my wife, my grandchildren, uh, in all of this. I'm very impressed by the respect and support science and mathematics receive in China. I've heard of the major contributions of Sir Run Run to all the universities here. It felt like a turning point in mathematics when Zhang Zemin personally opened the International Congress of Mathematics in Beijing. A large proportion of my most gifted students and collaborators in the last 20 years have been Chinese. So I feel especially honored to receive this award in China. I believe that great advances in science and mathematics will take place here in the coming decades. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Mumford. May we now invite a short laureate in mathematical sciences, Professor Wu Wenzhen, to come forward. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel a great honor in getting the show prize 2006 in mathematical sciences. As mathematics is a typical kind of mental labor, mechanization of mathematics will also be typical for mechanization of mental labor and should receive at most the concern among all possible mental labors. Fortunately enough, I discovered in recent years a method of mathematics mechanization which had henceforth successful applications in not merely mathematics itself, but also in various disciplines of science and technology. I shall devote to mechanization of mental labor in the coming industrial revolution. Thanks to all. Thank you, Professor Wu. Would all the laureates kindly come forward to take a group photo, please? The presentation today has not only recognized six outstanding scientists and scholars for their unsurpassed achievements, but it also enables us to have a better understanding of the research work. It is indeed an unforgettable and memorable occasion for us all. We look forward to seeing you again next year and to witness the Shaw Prize's recognition and celebration of the accomplishments of distinguished scientists and scholars. Goodbye and see you all next year. Goodbye.